two on the bottom right are, are uh, wet samples. So we're looking at the wet cut. So we've got a definite ring on each. So these still have water saturating the pores of our sample. Now, two on the bottom left are dry samples. You see those streamers? One drop at a time. And let the reaction occur with the reagent penetrating the sample. You don't want to just overload it with too much reagent all at once. Looks pretty dang good. We do have some slow streamers in there as you can see. I call that a bright ring, blooming ring. It's a, it's a beautiful cut.